Hi, good evening, everyone. Today we will go ahead and discuss what should be your ISI strategy for uh, 2023 PEB part. The first thing that you have to go ahead and understand better is that you have to do all the back questions of Snyder and Nicholson, of Hammond and uh, of Don Bush, right? And if time permits, then even for um, some questions of game theory, right? But these are the three major things that you should be focusing on. You should, <clears throat> for example, not miss uh, on topics like uh, solo model. It has been asked very often in exam and it will definitely be coming this year also in exam, right? So you should be going ahead and you should be doing solo model thoroughly. Apart from that, you should also be focusing a bit on the different uh, games, right? So for example, when it comes to the Kurno model, it is very important to go ahead and understand what happens in different cases. When I have the same cost model, when I do not have the same cost model, what should be the case in, in each of these, right? Then you should also be focusing better on, uh, uh, you should go ahead and focus on your maths part also. Now, what you would have seen beta is that um, in maths last time, for example, la last to last time actually, uh, there, there was a very weird question, which was a puzzle question, right? Uh, you would have seen the answer to that. Now, that puzzle question is not uh, any way related to the maths that we do. So, so you have to keep your mind a little ana analytical and a little open, right? It's not only about going ahead and doing the back questions, right? It's about your analytical thought process, about how you can go ahead and approach the question. A lot of times, the professors are not interested in understanding whether you know the solution, whether you end up with the right answer at the end or not. They are interested in understanding the process you went through to write that answer. The, the technique you applied, the method you applied, that is what they are interested in, right? Then the second thing you have to try and understand beta is that, <clears throat> so think like this. Think uh, about a, an ISI paper in which in the objective question, they have said question one to five is based on this information. You would have seen this in, in DSE a lot, right? In ISI also sometimes. So imagine if instead of giving like this, that the, the next five questions are based on this information. They compose it together and they give you as a PEB question. This is what they do, right? So the important part here is to do the objective questions very well. That automatically will, will help you with the, uh, with the subjective questions also, right? So that's your next part. Then the third thing is you have to go ahead and Try to present all the knowledge that you have about that question. Try to. So sometimes, um, sometimes when they give you a question, they may just miss out on the information uh, knowingly, right? So for example, uh, let's say that uh, they, they are giving you a question about perfect competition and they give you the price function and they did not give you about anything about uh, uh, how the perfect competitive firm will be producing, right? Uh, so you have to understand that P has to be equal to MC. So the, the, the thing that I'm trying to say here is you have to deduce new information out of the question. Using your knowledge, you have to say that, okay, if, if this is this, then, then this must hold true. Or, okay, if this is monopoly and you're giving me elasticity, then using learner's index, this is what comes and then this, this should be MR or this should be MC. So the aim here is for you to go ahead and present all the information that you have. The next thing that you have to understand is that presentation matters. It's not like you keep uh, writing it in, in absurd ways and keep cancelling out. A proper presentation of the question is also important, or the answer sheet is also important. Now, <clears throat> how do you go about doing it? So, so you have to go ahead and also do all the assignments that have been given to you. So after every class, whatever assignment was given to you, whatever uh, problem sets were given to you in micro, in macro, in math, you're supposed to go ahead and do those also. And apart from that, you have to manage your time very well. So, so you have to read the instructions very carefully, Peter. So sometimes what happens is that, um, they, so they have written, right, that out of 10 questions, you're supposed to do only four. And you end up doing all 10. Or you end up doing five. You end up doing six. You read the instructions carefully. If it says you have to only do four questions and uh, one out of each section is compulsory, that is what you're supposed to follow. 
doing additional questions will not fetch you additional marks. And always remember that uh, it is not like your semester exam. Ki shuru shuru mein to achche se kiya and last ke do question kuch bhi gusar gusar. No, you have to be, you have to do the entire paper. You have to manage the time such that all questions get equal time of yours, right? And then, uh, you know, one more thing I would like to highlight is that your, so, so if you have looked at my other video where we talked about the ISI uh, marks, all right, you know that the first level is to go ahead and clear PEA. If you fail in PEA, if you do not clear PEA, PEB is never checked, right? The professors will not go ahead and even check it. So therefore, if you are focusing all your time on PEB and not giving enough time to PEA, you're gone. My suggestion would be give a lot of time to practicing PEA also. And then PEB will just follow. If you have known all concepts for PEA, there is no stopping by. Nobody can stop you from writing wrong answers in PEB. You will definitely write the correct answer. Right, uh, stopping you from writing the right answers in PEB. So therefore, you must go ahead and you must make sure that you do your PEA very well and then focus on PEB. Okay. Okay. So best of luck for your final exam. Uh, we still have a good amount of time. We still have 15, 20 days in our hands. Uh, focus on all past year questions of PEA first and then focus on PEB. And apart from that, focus on all the mock papers that I've given you. They're very, very important from exam point of view. Don't leave up on the mock papers. And finally, you know, I'm planning to go ahead and give you uh, the important PEB questions. This, this will start coming to you from Monday onwards. From Monday I will give you important uh, video sessions on PEB questions, okay? And uh, try to do those also over the next week. So over next week, I will I will try to make, um, I, I will try and give you at least, uh, uh, you know, 20, 25 important PEB questions, okay? Um, including entire micro, macro, maths, etc. So try and do all of those before you go for your final exam. Go through the video, try to see my writing, how I have written the answers, how we are, you know, what kind of, um, uh, how do you, how do you write the answers? What is your presentation? And practice those also before your final exam. Okay, best of luck. Thank you.